So I'm not saying I stopped this entire video so I could go put on eyeliner and glitter liner, but... Hey everyone, welcome back. So today, I'm so excited, we're going to be doing a foundation review. Ooh, y'all, I'm so excited. We are going to be doing a review on the brand new Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation. A little bit about this foundation before we get into it. This foundation retails for $20. You can find it on Juvia's Place on their own website. You can find it on Ulta now, which is very exciting. Now, Ulta does not carry the concealer or I think they also have powder. They don't carry that. They just have the foundation, which kind of bugs. This foundation has 42 shades. So that is a very good shade range for especially a new foundation. And it being technically drugstore. Now this foundation is $20 which is definitely up there for a quote unquote drugstore foundation. Now I'll call it drugstore just because when you go into Ulta, that's on the side of the store that it's on. It's on the side of the store that has like Morphe and NYX and those brands, which are all drugstore. All right, that's why I'm calling it a drugstore foundation. You get one fluid ounce in your foundation. So that is standard for a normal liquid foundation. Let's read. Let's read the, read the claims. That's what it says. It says, find your perfect Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation shade. Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation offers a smooth application with a natural and soft matte finish to give a flawless coverage. A great formula to even out the complexion, refine skin texture, erase blemishes, maintaining the initial finish throughout the day. Suitable for all skin types, including sensitive and oily skin. So, there's that. Let's do some swatches real quick. I am gonna do this the way that uh, the Taylor does hers as far as doing several other foundations swatched next to each other so you can see um, the general shade that this will turn out being and if you're in one of those foundations, you can see if this shade will work for you. Speaking of shades, I have the lightest shade which is 740. Marisol and it says for very very light skin with neutral undertones now I do not have neutral undertones I have cool undertones however the next shade up was very orange and so that wasn't working for me and the, by the time and that's and that's technically the cool shade but that pulled very orange on me when I swatched it in the store so I ended up going with the palest shade, hoping that it would work. So let's get into those swatches. Okay, so we've got the swatches on here. This is the Juvia's Place Aid in 740. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation in F1, which is my closest shade match. Next to it, I have the Maybelline Superstay Foundation in 102 Fair Porcelain. Next to it is the Smashbox Studio Skin in zero, uh, 0 0.1. The next one over, which is the last one here, is the Clinique Even Better Refresh in, in Flax. Now that we have all of that out of the way, let's get into the application. Okay, so we're looking a little funky just because I had to do my eye makeup first. So, I've been on that same tee for like an hour. Uh, so let's let's pop her open. I haven't gotten it out of the box yet. I love that it comes with a little seal on it, so like you can know if somebody else had tried it before you got it. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do half of my face with a beauty blender, half of my face with a sponge. Wait. No, half of my face with a beauty blender, half of my face with a brush. There it is. For my primer, I'm gonna be going in with the primer that I know that I like. I'm not gonna be trying anything new today. Going in with the same thing that I do every day when I do a full face. And this is the Stila Sheer Illumination Laundry Souffle Primer. I know I like this primer, I know what it does. And so I don't, I won't have any surprises. And then we can tell what's doing what. So I'm not saying I stopped this entire video so I could go put on eyeliner and glitter liner, but let's actually get into uh, the foundation part of this video. You know, the point of the video. Put some on the back of my hand. 
a little, a little dollop. She's thick. This is definitely thick. Definitely has some yellow undertone to it, which is not my undertone. However, it's okay. So I'm thinking we're just gonna do a couple swipes here and there. I don't know how much this is gonna take, so we're just gonna we're just gonna figure it out. Taking my brush, let's let's start blending it out. Definitely a matte formula. Um, so far, it looks like I'm getting, I wouldn't say full coverage, I'm saying I'm getting probably high medium, I guess. See how it does on my forehead, which is my problem area of my face. So it's already texturing on my forehead. Texturing around my nose. This is matte. Like I know it looks like it's got some shine right here on my cheekbone, but that is 100% because of my lighting. Let's go ahead and do the other side and then see what happens. I'm getting about the same coverage on this side. That nice high medium, which isn't bad. It is definitely clinging to my breakouts. Texturing on my nose. I'm thinking I like how it blends out with the Beauty Blender better than the brush. Since I'm getting about the same coverage, I think it's just blending out a little bit smoother. We are texturing though, like my forehead and my acne spots are getting some mad texture. I'm gonna blend it in a little bit more on my cheek, add some coverage, see how buildable it is. So even with the Damp Beauty Blender, it is very buildable. Like we are at full coverage now. Already creased in my nose, which you know, wonderful. We love we love a creasy nose. Trouble getting the coverage to stick to my nose? Question mark. Kind of odd. Like it's sticking, just kind of weird. I don't know how to explain it. You'll see. Overall, so far, I think I just look dry. I think you'll be able to see it a little bit better in natural lighting, but I feel like I just look dry. Like, the coverage is beautiful. We're at a full, full coverage right now. But I feel, I feel and I look dry and kind of heavy. Green around my lips, weird. Texturing around my nose, quite weird. And my forehead, looks so dry. I'm hoping that once I finish my makeup, put a setting spray on, all that fun stuff, it will look a little smoother and not as heavy and dry. But so far, not loving it. I feel like if you have less acne and less texture and your skin is smoother and maybe you're a bit more oily, Naturally, I think you would like this, but right now, and it's it's already creasing too. Kind of a tacky finish, so I think I am definitely gonna set it with my powder. So I'm gonna go finish up my makeup and then we'll see how it looks after. Okay guys, so I am mostly done with my makeup at this point. I haven't done mascara or lips, obviously, but I just wanted to check in real quick and show you guys what it's looking like now that it's been on a little bit, now that I've put other makeup on top of it. Um, I am going to zoom you in real quick. 
this is what we're looking like right now. It's very dry looking. Most of the coverage has already come off of my nose, but I mean, my nose looks splotchy. Um, Texture creasing already here, here, and in my smile lines. Still got some redness from my breakouts showing through. Nose is creased really bad. It's not looking so hot, looking very textured. So I'm thinking because I am looking so dry, I am gonna hit it with a dewy setting spray. The setting spray doesn't do anything for the longevity of my makeup. It just makes it a little bit dewier, a little bit more hydrated. So I think I'm gonna hit it with my Catrice Dewy Glow Spray. I didn't want to do a setting spray on top of it, obviously, because, you know, that changes its finish. It changes what the foundation's supposed to look like. But because I have things to do today, and because I'm already not feeling my makeup because I had to also try a new eyeshadow palette today, um... I'm gonna do that. So I'm going to do this and then we're gonna we're gonna start our check-ins throughout the day. So here we go. Oh you guys, that made it so much worse. Let's zoom in again. Let's let's show ya. Here we are. We are zoomed in on my chin. Very, very textured. No. Creasing got worse. Um, forehead, very textured. Honestly, I do think it looks a lot worse. It totally looks worse. Now that I've put the dewy glow on it, it totally looks worse. Making like stripes of texture over here. It just looks so heavy. It's settling into my pores really bad. It's textured around my eyebrows. The middle of my forehead right here in between my eyebrows looks awful. Ooh, girl, this ain't good. To the man's, thought about it a little bit, looked in the mirror a little bit more, and I have decided that I am not going to do a wear test with this foundation. I'm not going to continue to wear it. I'm gonna take it off immediately because Here's my thoughts. This foundation was $20, which is expensive for a foundation. While it's not a high-end foundation, it's technically drugstore. If you're gonna spend $20 on a drugstore foundation, I expect it to be better than drugstore foundations. You know, I expect it to look better on the skin. I expect it to not do the things that people complain about with foundations every single day. It looks thick, it looks heavy, it looks dry. It clings to everything that it shouldn't cling to. Coverage wipes off. It's doing all of the things that people don't want foundations to do. It's, been, it's doing the things that everybody asks every single brand to avoid with foundations. I get it being a matte finish looked powdery and cakey and heavy. The fact that I've been wearing it for 20 minutes and it's already creased everywhere, it's textured everywhere. If it's doing the things that my foundation will always do at the end of the day, right after I put it on, I see no point in wearing it further. Not good guys, it's not good. So I'm going to take it off and I am not going to put it on again. Um, unless you guys have any recommendations on what to do with this foundation, if you've experimented with it, if you've tried it, had the same problems as I did and found a remedy for that, please let me know in the comments below uh, because that th this ain't it, chief. On that note, I'm going to go take this off and be bummed about it because I was exceptionally excited for this foundation. I hope you guys found this review helpful. I hope if you have a similar skin type to mine, it will make sense and you can avoid doing what I have done with my face. I'm kind of bummed, but you know, that's how, it ha that's how it be sometimes. So I'm gonna end that here. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you hit the like button if you did like this and you wanna see more reviews 
of foundations and things on my channel. Hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post disastrous content like this. And um, all of my social media will be in the description below, uh, as well as this foundation if you want to check it out and maybe it'll work better for your skin than it did mine. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be it. I'm going to see you guys later. Bye.